Welcome back, fam. I'm fishing all you hookaholics. So uh, we got ourselves a Shop Carl's delivery today. Um, if you don't know, recently was Shop Carl's birthday celebration, and during that period of time, they were they're giving out a bunch of discounts and things. So I decided to jump on board with something that I found was rare, uh, or is supposed to be rare, and uh, something that I wanted to support because it's a uh, a person who I've followed for quite some time, and I really respect her work, and uh, I just wanted to show a little appreciation on that front. So uh, stay tuned, and we'll see what I got from Shop Carl's. Uh today came in the front door and it was a shop Carl's order um, they had a birthday celebration they were doing you know uh, like scavenger hunt style stuff like they do for um, uh, Valentine's Day and uh, one of the things that caught my eye was uh, Mike Buka uh, the inventor and proprietor of uh, Triton Bates who does the uh, the bull shad the bull gill uh, which are resin hand carved resin baits um, or hand tuned resin baits he went with Catchco and they've been pushing out the Mike Buka's baby series the baby bull shed the baby bluegill or bullgill excuse me well recently he invited um, an amazing YouTube artist bait painter um, and uh, so um, he in collaboration with her, Jekyll, uh, did a series of color schemes, colorways. Uh, two for the bull gill, a baby bull gill, and two for the baby bull shad. So I decided, why the heck not? It's something that I, I felt, I looked at the pictures online, obviously photos are a little bit better <laughs> than, than reality sometimes, and sometimes the photos don't do it justice, but uh, I was very impressed, and uh, I just felt I compelled to, to buy some. So I bought one of each color for each uh, pattern or for each style. And with that purchase, as part of the celebration, it opted me into two gifts. Uh, one being a, an outdoors kind of packagey thing, and the second being a mystery box catch co grab bag uh, bundle. So they threw a bunch of baits into a box, uh, just as a, a thank you for, uh, for all. So starting off with the mainstay. So like I said, I got one of each colorway, uh, that she painted in each of the styles of baits. So you got two in the bull gill and two in the uh, baby bull shad. So we'll start with the baby bull shad. She starts off, she has one called Rayburn's Revenge, which is this awesome Rayburn Red Craw color. Um, obviously it has uh, the shad spot there. It doesn't have the craw patterns in it, but it does have this beautiful gold hue on the top. The, the the paintbrush bristle tail even has a red hue to it, you know, an auburn brown kind of hue. Um, very impressed with that. Secondly, even more so, and real reason why I, I picked these up, was this colorway uh, that they call the Bumblebee. She calls it Bumblebee. And it's got that red-orange front, and it's got this beautiful gold-yellow uh, pattern down the side with these, these stripes painted in. Um, they're three and three quarter inch long and each one's, these are slow sinking and they each weigh about a half an ounce. So amazing baits still have all of the uh, original catch coat quality and the, the same swimming pattern. They're just been, um, you know, given a, a, a Jekyll painting, Jekyll Customs, um, you know, touch, uh, to the, uh, to the baits to really bring out some vibrant paint schemes. Next up. We also have the baby bull gills, so these are the larger profiles. In those, she came up with one called the long, long ear sunfish pattern. Um, it's basically a long ear sunfish. And in my, in my waterway, one of the main forages for bass is sunfish. Uh, sunfish, pumpkin seed, and bluegill um, are big in, in the main lake that I, that I fish. 
And also, she did a, a very cute kind of color. They call it uh, Red Breasted Sunny. And it's kind of like, it, it's almost like a, a morning dawn sky kind of paint scheme. Or a twilight nightscape. <laughs> more than it is, to me personally, a, uh, uh, a fish pattern. But the scales are painted out with these white uh, crescents. And uh, it does have that nice kind of bluegill-esque pattern. Or sunfish pattern. Uh, but I think the colors are a little bit more vibrant than what, you know, for what I was going for. But I'm very happy to have it, even if it's nothing more than maybe a collectible. That being said, um, part of buying those, uh, and they should still have a few available. Uh, they're about $14 a piece if you have the Catchco membership. It opted me into a couple of freebies. One of which is a nice little Carl's Club membership. It's just a notepad, just a... Uh, lined blue you know paper book uh, notepad so that's pretty cool you can keep your journal of your catches or um, you know use this to maintain your boat or what have you your gear uh, just nice to have it's a nice little soft leatherette style uh, bound book which is cool appreciate that as a freebie and they also have this nice Carl's Club nylon cinch strap back bag. So you got a drawstring bag with the Carl's Club membership logo on it, and it's in a nice nylon. Definitely going to keep this on my boat for throwing things in it. Um, you know, easily dries because it's that nylon, and it cinches up. You can throw it over your shoulder if you want. So wet gear, rain gear, I can keep this and stow it away really easy so it's convenient and handy. So I appreciate that. On top of all those goodies, um, you know, reaching a pinnacle goal, they gave me this which is a grab bag of goodies. So they just throw in a couple random baits. I opened it to make it easier for the camera. So inside you get a uh, little card with old Carl Van Dibble. Uh, Carl's Baits Mystery Grab Bag. Thanks for picking up the mystery grab, grab bag. <clears throat> we hate to admit it, but Carl's handpicked every bait. He snuck into some of our finest fishing goods and when he turned our backs. And uh, now you know he threw them in here. It's just a, just a random hodgepodge of different lures and baits. So, we'll start off, we've got, fun for me, in the micro finesse style, we have the spike worm, a one and a half inch, uh, 12 count, by Trigger, Trigger Bait Company. So these are little ticker tail, they call them the spike worm, ultra finesse and it's ultra glow, they call this color. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming it might just glow in the dark. All right, so we got that. That's good for my, you know, ultralight fishing, my, uh, you know, crappie pan fish, that kind of stuff. What else we got? We got some ball head jigs, 1 16th ounce, 10 count. And a chartreuse head pattern with the painted eyes. That's pretty cool. Nice. Never have too many jig heads. Uh, we've got... Okay, something that the bait itself might not be useful enough to me, but I am definitely going to keep these. So we got a five and a half inch uh, from Hyperlastics, the dart spins. I've had these in the past. It's from Banda Anglers. Um, so, uh, you know, it's a great, uh, great company. Um, what's This is called the Double Pepper Chartreuse. So you got red and black flake in a chartreuse rubber pla or plastic. And what's good about this, and what I'm going to save it for more than the actual swim bait itself, is these guys right here. So I got two chartreuse willow blade spinning blades that they mount in a screw lock keeper on the back side of the plastic. I'm going to take those blades off and use them on spinner baits uh, that have your basic uh, chrome or copper or black metal blade. I'm going to throw these on there for that extra pop of color and vibration, uh, especially when the water's murky. So I'll just take this right off of the hardware that's on here, put it onto a snap ring or a, a split ring, and throw that onto one of my spinner baits, because that's cool, because that's exactly what I needed was a chartreuse blade. That's awesome. All right, so Excite Baits next up. We have some Raptor Tail Juniors in Crawdaddy. These are the Crawdads. Love Excite Baits. I love this color. Now, as I said going into the pre-spawn and all, this is the color I start out with. When the crawfish are coming out of their winter holeovers, when they've burrowed underneath, they first come out, 
they're a little bit brown and muddy, and then they get a little bit redder, and then they molt, and they turn bright red. Um, these are the colors I start off first. And this is a two-tone. It's got a green back, and then it's got that perfect match-the-hatch brownish-orange color that I look for in the early spring. So there's that green pumpkin, green flake back, and then that brown. So that color right there is, is definitely something that I look forward to in the... Uh, you know, mid-March, April uh, time frame when the crawls are coming back out and the water's warming up. Definite winner right there. Appreciate that. Um, we've got from, from Great Lakes, a small pack, another small lure. Now, unfortunately, Great Lakes doesn't, doesn't ever really put a whole lot on their packaging as to what they're selling, but we've got, oh, we got some curly tails, some curly tail grubs. And a nice, it's a nice pattern. Oh, it's, a, it's an odd flailed tri-split curly tail. So you got one, two, three. It's split into three sections on the back. That's different. That's cool. Never seen that before. Great Lakes, huh. Surprised I haven't come across these in the past earlier. Because I do get a lot of Great Lakes stuff in all the packages that I've ordered over the years. That's interesting. Uh, awesome, so... Uh, and it's got that. It's got a blue flake. Yeah, blue flake in there. I like that. I like that color too. That's pretty interesting. All right, on to hard baits. So from Jenko, we have uh, we have a Jenko's bluegill pattern CDSBG. Um, this is their CD2 hard bait crank bait, little square bill, right there. Not bad. Let's see what the characteristics listed on here is. So, not giving me character. Okay, here we go. Three quarter ounce, and it is a 65 millimeter, three quarter ounce square bill. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's cool. Square bills, love them. This time of year, square bills are killer. Uh, we've got from Lucky John, original Shad 80X. This is a floating Shad. Crank bait, ADX. It's a 13 gram and it dives uh, 2.3 feet. So it's a shallow diving, uh, floating, Catchco MTB branded um, diving bill bait. Now the crank bait. I like crank baits. Love the eyes on this. Shad ADF. I like that. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, a couple more to go. We've got a long A from Bomber Lures. This is the saltwater hook version. So saltwater hooks on this one. Nice blue back herring color color scheme. <laughs> I love those eyes. Bright eyes. I wonder if you can catch a bass on that. That's kind of an interesting thing. In clear water, it's that blue would shine, and it, it, those eyes definitely are uh, definitely are, are, are grabbers or catchers for, uh, for this. This is called Silver Flake Blue Back. And it is a two and a half inch quarter ounce. Quarter ounce. Not bad. All right, interesting. Two more to go. I got a spoon, so we got a mackerel minnow jig. Jigging spoon, 15 gram. Little darter, so that's cool. Again, you can see this has got salt water and fresh water and uh, ultra light micro baits as well as some larger ones. And the piece de resistance from Strike Pro, we have an Ultimate Castings um, suspending, which is exactly what we want right now. This is a four and five sixteenths half ounce dives one to eight feet suspending. Little jerk bait, and the key to that, which is good timing, is my recent purchase of that fishing rod. So. Trick baits. So stay tuned. I'm going to give a, a little rundown of the nine or so uh, combos that I'm going to be using this season. Uh, over, I had six or seven I used last year. I'm going to use nine this year because I've, I've basically taken it upon myself to get technique specific um, combinations and build my own little arsenal based on what I'm going to need for specific things. And for jerk baits, what I got recently 
What was this? Since I used the Dick's uh, gift of money that they, they gave me off that reserve box debacle, getting the, um, the uh, Corrado DC, the Shimano Corrado DC here, I wanted to pair it with a specific technique. So what I decided to do was go to uh, go online to uh, the Hookup Tackle, which is a um, Mega Bass mainstay dealer here in, in the United States. And uh, this is the trick right here. So you got a extending and uh, retracting butt end handle. But I got what is their VKC six foot nine medium plus Valkyrie uh, bait casting rod. And the reason I got this rod, the Valkyrie, is this is going to be my dedicated rod specifically for jerk baits. So, if you know jerk bait fishing is very tentative, it's it's monotonous. You're constantly doing that flick, flick, flick all day. It can be very tiring. Um, this is a rod that is known to be very good at medium uh, to smaller jerk baits. They have a slightly longer run that's for you know your one ounce jerk baits, or your your heavier jerk baits. Not one ounce, but you're like three quarter uh, and up kind of jerk baits. Uh, this one basically is very, very good for you know your quarter ounce, three sixteen, or much smaller, lighter jerk baits. Things like this guy right here, um, that it doesn't really give you the fatigue as some other rods would. Um, the seven four gear ratio I think is great because I can jerk, jerk, and bring that slack in really fast. Um, Obviously, I can, when I catch a big fish, I can skate them in really fast with a 7-4 ratio from the DC. And because I got a DC reel, I'm not so worried about treble hook baits like this tumbling through the air on a cast, um, causing me to have blow-ups. So that was the basic point of, of this setup was I have the security in casting into the wind uh, and not worrying about blow-ups on the reel because of the digital chip controlling. I have a rod that is a medium, medium plus rod, so it's fairly tippy, but stout uh, very quickly into the into the backbone of the rod. So jerking along all day is not going to hurt my wrists, my elbows, etc. And the fact that it has the telescoping rear butt allows me not to be pounding the back of my forearm. I can slide that out of the way and have more mobility to work the bait uh, more accurately and, of course, you know, more consistently. So that was the pairing here. That was the big ticket buy from, uh, from uh, the Hookup Tackle to go with the big ticket buy from Dix, my last Dix buy. Um, I did get twenty another $20 coupon. I spent that on a handful of things. I'm done. No moss. No more. They're done with me. They, they screwed me over with that box, and I'm a man of my word. So uh, that's my end with Dick. So now I'm going to end up buying all of my products from places like uh, Shop Carl's, places like uh, the Hookup Tackle, unfortunately, <laughs> if I find deals, less expensive things, because they are a pretty pricey company, but they do deal with higher cost, higher price items. And, of course, um, you know, Tackle Warehouse and uh, probably Omnia. I might even hook up to Omnia. But with all that said, I hope this was entertaining. Uh, stay tuned when I do my video on the rest of the rods, including a better breakdown of why I did purchase that. Um, I hope this was entertaining. I need from two people, well, I don't need two. I need one person's information. So I posted up on the, uh, on the community tabs a question. How many times did I gaff and say PDF? Yeah instead of PFD. <laughs> in, the, in the scope of being on YouTube and in the internet in a hall, I guess PDF files would kind of make sense in this genre, but I was talking about personal flotation devices, not... Yeah, anyway, PFDs, not PDFs. So in that video, I misspoke and said PDF 15 times. 15 times. Said it correctly twice, but I messed it up 15 times. So, Nate, Nate, give me your shipping information, Nate A, and, uh, and I'll send you out a little, uh, you know, runner's-up package. He guessed 14. He was close. And uh, 
the winner was Fish in the Mitten. So, Josh, I already have your information, so I'm going to be sending a care package out to you uh, as well. But, Nate, get in touch with me with foulmouthfisherman at gmail.com, and uh, I will send you out a box uh, just to thank you for participating and all. So uh, these are random boxes. They have random stuff in them. Um, so I hope they, uh, they add to your arsenal, and I hope you enjoy and get some fish on them. With all that said, uh, I appreciate all of you. I got ourselves a new... Oh, you can't see it there. I got, our, I got our new stickers in. That was the key. So these are... Yay! The Hookaholics Foul Mouth Fishing YouTube Die Cut stickers with the, uh, the Pennywise logo there. So they're little tiny stickers. They're only uh, what, two and a half, three inches tall. Maybe two by two. I don't know. Anyway, they're a little die cut cuts. I just thought I was bored and tinkered around and just kind of threw them up there. But uh, as you win little prizes, I'll be throwing them out. I might just give out a couple stickers here and there uh, over the days. Um, but uh, I always appreciate you guys commenting down below. And I hope you continue to uh, communicate with me and share. Because that's what this is all about. The Hokalik family. For me to you, always peace. Enjoy your month. The spring is here. It's time for fishing. Is building. I know, Josh, you've been fishing all year long. I, I'm not a nice fisherman. <laughs> but with all that said, peace, and I'll catch you on the next cast. Take it easy.